Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can train LLMs in just 50 lines of code. So to start with, you need a data set, obviously. Uh, here I have a data set Alpaca and uh, uh, we can go through the data set. It has three different columns, instruction, input and output. Just like when you're training an instruction based model, uh, you have these three columns and these are combined together to form another column called a text column. So let's take a look at this example. Identify the odd one out. Here you have input Twitter, Instagram and Telegram and the output is Telegram. And this is how it's formatted. Below is an instruction that describes a task, blah, blah, blah. Write a response that appropriately completes the request. And then you have hash, hash, hash instruction, identify the odd one out. Then you have input, which is the input column and response is the response column or the output column. So all the data, all the data points are formatted in the same way. So this is what you have to remember. And this is if you format your data set like this, you can use this code um, and train your own LLM in just 50 lines of code. And by the way, I'm going to be doing this on my home GPU machine. So I'm not using any cloud computing. I'm going to do it on my home computer. So let's get started. So now I'm in my uh, VS Code coding environment. And uh, I have created a file called train.py. Now I've done this all this coding before. So I'm not doing it from memory. I already have the code in front of me. Uh, for this, we don't need many libraries. We need torch, import torch. And then for data set, since I'll be using a data set from Hugging Face data sets, and I also recommend you to do that because it comes with a lot of features. Even if you're using a data set, which is your own private data set, you can just convert it to the data sets format and then you can use it locally. You don't have to upload the data set to Hugging Face Hub. So from data sets, import load data set. And uh, we will also be using PEFT, P-E-F-T. So from PEFT, import LRA config. Get PEFT model and prepare for int 8 training. Okay, and from transformers, I will import auto model for causal LM auto tokenizer and training arguments. So you can see I have not imported trainer because the trainer that we will be using comes from TRL. So it's another library by Hugging Face from TRL import SFT trainer. And this makes our job really very easy. You don't have to do any kind of processing on the data if you don't want to do that. Uh, if you want to, then obviously you can. Um, and now, uh, so we got uh, data sets, we got torch, we got pef, we got transformers and we got TRL. So these five different libraries and that's all you need. So de let's define the train function. Here we will be importing the data set. Train data set is load data set. And that's the same data set that I've shown you before. So that's Tatsulab Alpaca. So when, when you're using um, a local data set, so a private data set that's yours, and it's in the data sets format, you can just add, add the path here instead of uh, the hugging face repository name and it's going to work. Split equal to train. So in my data set, I have three different columns and a text column that combines all the three columns to a format in which we would like to train our um, LLM, fine tune our LLM. And then I import tokenizer. So we will be using, uh, today we will be using the model by Salesforce, which is XGen model. 
7 billion parameters, 8K context length, and it's available for free for commercial usage. From pre-trained, it's a model based on Llama. It's exactly the same architecture, but it's just tra trained differently and it's uh, free for everyone. So Salesforce slash XGen 7B 8K base. So this is our model and uh, this is our tokenizer. And here I will, I will write first remote code go to true. So one more package that you will need to have is the tick token package for tokenization especially for this model and auto model for causal LM dot from pre-trained and here we have um, the same Salesforce XGen 7B base um, and here is an important parameter load in 4 bit equal to true and we also define the D type torch underscore D type torch dot load 16 and device map as auto. So now once you have done this, you have already loaded the tokenizer and the model and we will just resize the token embeddings for the model model dot resize token which is I don't think it's required but let's yeah let's just do that especially not required for this this code but you might need it if you're changing something in the tokenizer okay um, now comes the part with weft so we will do model is prepare for intake training model. So here you see we have loaded the model in 4-bit, but we are saying the prepared model for intake training, it's fine. Uh, in the latest version of PEP, which will be released soon, you will have prepared for intk training and it's going to handle both. Uh, here intake is doing the same thing. It's using prepare for intk int training and it's handling that. So you don't have to worry about it. And if you if you have to update it in future, just change eight to K. And then we have the PEFT config. So we are using LRA. Here I have some parameters, uh, which are quite the default parameters I always use, but yeah, feel free to change them and see how they change the models and we say bias is none and our uh, training type or task type is causal underscore hello <laughs> so we got our pet config we got our model um, now you have to get the pet model so model will change to a pet model get pet model and here you say model comma pet config now we define the training arguments we are done we, we are almost done with everything so training args um so this is training arguments and inside this we can define things like output directory, xgen, whatever you want, 7b, tuned, alpaca, and then you have per device train batch size. So you're defining the batch size, let's say four. Um, we don't need any kind of gradient accumulation optimizer can be Adam W torch uh, logging steps let's say 100 
log after every hundred steps uh, learning rate now these uh, parameters become quite important like learning rate because now you you don't have the original model you have the adapter model so 2e minus 4 fp16 we'll turn it on uh, warm up ratio 0 0.1 and then we have scheduler linear num train epochs let's say we train for one epoch save strategy is epoch and then the last parameter is push to hub now oh, if you want to push to hub you can push to hub that is hugging face up then it becomes easy for you to just try the model out create a space or just deploy using in inference and endpoints but if you don't want to do that then the model will be saved locally if it's your personal private commercial model so sft trainer uh, so now my trainer is not my transformer trainer but the sft trainer which is also based on transformers trainer and model so um will be model we define the train data set which is the same train data set we define the data set text field so it's now asking you which field should we train on so which is in our case the column name is called text max sequence length um, 1024 and then we add the tokenizer we add the training arguments and we also have one more parameter called packing equal to true so sft trainer is just supervised fine tuning trainer it's based on the trainer class uh, packing equal to true is just packing the sequences you have the max sequence length and everything else is provided if you want to take a look at all the parameters, you can just go and see the class. Uh, but I'm not going to do that in this video, maybe in the next one. And once you're done with all this, you just do trainer dot train. And you can also do trainer dot push to hub in the end when you're pushing all the models, uh, all the model to the hub. Awesome. So this took us only 40 to 43 lines of code. Uh, I was hoping it will take 50. Uh, but yeah, that's it. And, and we are done. And let's let's just try and see if uh, this works. So I'll just do Python. So I'll, I'll do with CUDA visible devices equal to zero Python train.py. Since I have two GPUs and I, I want to see like if I if I use only one GPU, um, can can we like do, uh, um, okay, I have an error. Okay, can we just train on one GPU? That's what I, I want to see. So prepare for intake training uh, was not found. So prepare model. I think it's prepare model for intake training. Uh, I hope it should be fine now. So let's see. Oh, okay, I, I didn't add the main part. So if train And here our data set was in alpaca format and we had like, okay, here's an instruction, here's a response, but you can also have like human and expert. So you can have all different kinds of training data. You just have to make sure that the format that you use during training, you use the same format when doing the inference. So let's try one more time. Okay, now it's working. and it's loading the model so if you're loading the model for the first time it's going to take some time because it's going to download the model 
but since I already have downloaded the model, it will be a bit faster for me to just load the shards. So I got another error. Uh, it's now it's about resize token embedding. Uh, resize token embeddings. Okay. Okay, now we wait again and see if it works. Okay, I think we forgot one more thing here. Uh, I think in the SFT trainer, you also need to add the PEFT config, but that shouldn't be required. So it seems like we forgot one more thing here, uh, which is uh, we have to, since we are using PEFT model, we have to add PEFT config, well to PEFT config inside the SFT trainer but how uh, we are getting another error and the error is uh, asking to pad the tokenizer but it doesn't have a padding token so what you can do is you can just add a padding token here uh, after the tokenizer so tokenizer dot pad token is tokenizer dot eos token i'll say the eos to or end of sentence token is my padding token and then we run it again so make sure the change that i made just now was this one and added the pept config okay let's try one more time okay so now it seems like it's training the model uh, and it will probably take 15 hours to train but uh, I'm, I'm just showing you that you can do it on your home machine leave it overnight for training and by afternoon or probably in the evening it will be done the next day so um what we did today was uh, we fine-tuned a large language model xgen 7b uh, 7 billion parameter model using 4-bit and we use peft we use sft trainer and we use a custom data set so you can you can just try it on your own data set or you can play around with the same data set or just few hundred thousand samples and see how it performs and in the next video if you're interested we can take a look at detailed look at how sft trainer works we can also take a look at uh, how to do inference using these models uh, one more thing before we leave i want to show you is we did all these things today we wrote some code and everything but um, there there is also a new or old library from hugging face that allows you to do the same thing without writing any code and that's called auto train so what you can do is so here's my command CUDA visible devices zero I can just do auto train LLM so you can do pip install auto train hyphen advanced and then you can run this command so i have the project name which is like output folder i have the model name the same model we used we have the data path the same data set that we use then we do use peft use int4 and we can do trainer is sft and you can also do things like learning rate to e minus four if I do all this and I press enter, I will be training the same model without writing any code at all. So that's what everyone is doing these days. Uh, the LLM trainers that you see all around is everyone is using the tools created by Hugging Face. And I'm going to go into much more details like how the SFT training works, how you should format the data, maybe in the next next videos. So if you like the video, do click on the like button, do subscribe, do share the video with your friends and uh, see you next time. Goodbye. The model is training. Bye bye.